Could you know, definitely. having Calabar, Casey, and St. George's in one group, and then you have a group which starts don't know Jonathan got Norman Mali, Spanish Town, and Tarrant. Mm. I don't think Casey's going to go back to back. Mm. I don't think this is Casey's year. Whoa, go on, sports fans. Welcome back. It's Manning Cup time. And I'm your host, Jomar. I'm Rush. And this is This or That Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and riveting Manning Cup topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, people. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to This or That Sports TV. But don't just share. Who oh, want to share the video, people? Who want them to share it to at least 10 people, but get us at least 6 subscribers. Because if each one of our subscribers watching right now, and the non-subscriber then, mm -hmm. can get us 6 additional subscribers. Do you know how many subscribers that will get us by the end of the day? Holy, holy, holy. People, but as Joe Ma said earlier, he couldn't help himself. He couldn't wait for him to intro the video properly. Yes, people, we're going to be talking about the Manning Cup. This is our first Manning Cup feature for the 2022 Manning Cup season. video. Yes, Manning Cup video. Because the feature they're released already. Yeah. Trust me when I say the first feature a long time. People, go watch that. KC out. Calabar out. KC coming. Mona coming. Papi coming. Um, Clan Clarty coming. George is coming. Jit. Bro, just say everything coming. Ready? Let's right. get into it, bro. How do you feel about this season? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's bigger and better than it was last season. You know, it's, it's better sponsored. It's better funded. It's better promoted. You know, the jerseys look good. Bro, $84 million from, from Digicel alone. The, the teams, them, the teams, them ready. You know, we've, we've been to many other schools. We've seen them in preparation. You know, schools who aren't supposed to be good look good. You know, so much is going to pop off, bro. And we are going to have it covered. Yeah. Bro, you think we'll get a, you think we'll get a surprise in this year, bro? Um, or you think KC could go back to back? We've been at KC. We see the team. Um, we hear them speak. I don't think Casey is going to go back to back. Mm. I don't think Casey is going to go back to back. Mm. I don't think this is Casey's year. Um, I haven't losing a lot of their players. Yeah, I haven't gotten the chance to fully see Jamaica College. I've seen Mona High School. And Mona High looks really good. Can't wait to get a chance to get a, a full grip of, of Casey mm -hmm. and George to see what they're all about. But after seeing Casey, it may be, considering that I don't have any, I don't have very much experience or knowledge on the other teams yeah. yet, but yeah. I will. But this time that I've seen, case is not the same case they were last year. All right, bro, let's run through the zone real quick All so right. the people know what's up. Yeah. All right, so in zone A, we have Kingston College, Arden High School, Calabar High, Eltham High, St. George's College, and Pembroke College. Well, Pembroke College with you from the competition. So that's that. The proverbial zone of Death. That's the zone of death, people. We don't even need to go. We don't even need to hear the rest. We know that that's the zone yeah. of death. You have KC, Calabar, and Georges in one group. Mm. That's Wh crazy. Which two teams do you think we take group on us? In that We're group? going to talk about that. We're going to get there. We're going. To, are you want to do it right now? While yeah, we can zone. just do, do, do um, group. Top two, bro. I really think Kingston College will be one, of course, and I think Georges will be the other. I think Georges will have a comeback here. Yeah, and we saw the Calabar team. You know, um, not to be too critical. But they're definitely not what they were last year. Mm -hmm. And they even said it. You know, they're rebuilding, they're, they're trying to compete and play, play good football. But we know what Casey is, and we know what Casey will always be. And that's competitive, and that's great, perpetually. Mm -hmm. And Georges, after coming off an embarrassing season, it won't happen with again. a young team, mm -hmm. they're one year more mature. No, Neville will have his time for preparation, mm -hmm. you know, as the um, harped on last season in our, in our Georges team feature. Georges will come back like the Eve, like, like the Phoenix. Yeah. That was burnt. I agree, bro. I don't Burned think Georges, I don't think Georges will have two back to back poor seasons, man. No. Uh, Neville, Neville Bell and Marcel Gill, they're better than that. Um Georges is usually better than that. And I'm sure maybe they'll do some recruitment. They'll do something. Georges, yeah. uh, um, they're very prideful about their their football. They take their football very serious. Yes, sir. So I think they'll make a comeback. So I'm predicting Kingston College and Georges. I can go one, two in that order. Right? Zone B, Jamaica College, Cedar Grove Academy, Meadowbrook High School, St. Catherine High, St. George, St. Jago High, sorry, St. Mary's College, and Holy Trinity High School. Mm. What do you think about that zone? Um, you know, still a very competitive zone. You know, still hearing some some good teams, you know, some solid yeah. programs. But I think we all like expect Jamaica College to 
fly out of that zone, probably undefeated. Mm. You know, could go undefeated, but some other teams, um, some notable teams. Saint Catherine usually does well. Yeah. Um, in the Manning Cup, Saint Diego yeah. is usually a team that does well in Saint, the Manning Saint Cup. Saint Catherine, Saint Catherine did very well last season. Exactly. You know, obviously, uh, managing to, to 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 do very well in in the Walker Cup, mm -hmm. in the Manning Cup. So. Um, Justin is one to look out for, for sure. Bro, and don't sleep on Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity is usually a team that does well in the Manning Cup yeah. too. So, you, we, we, I think we're both going to Jamaica College. Who do you think is the second place team? Well, those people, you know, the top two automatically goes through. We're not even going to talk about the third place teams. Let's just say who we think the top two will be from each zone. So, Jamaica College, you agree on that one. Uh, who is the next one that you think will come out of this group? Personally, uh, bro, you want to go first? Well, as I said, Catherine was a pretty senior team last season. So Cassie will have lost a lot of their star power. And I really do think St. Diego will have what it takes to um, come back in a real way mm -hmm. and get second place on this one. St. Diego High, I was feeling St. Diego High. It's either going to be, I think it's going to be St. Diego High School or Holy Trinity High School, but mm -hmm. I want to see, I want to see Holy Trinity first. But I feel like St. Diego as a, um, a, a school that does well traditionally in the Manning Cup, yeah. um, they go far. To be fair, Holy Trinity too. I don't want to go too far out on a limb to say that, but I'm going to go St. Diego with you. Um, Zone C, Charlie Smith High, Bridgeport High, Elton, um, Edith Dalton James, Haley Selassie High, Tivoli High, and Vauxhall High. Yeah, so that zone, I would say, is a pretty, pretty simple zone. Mm -hmm. Considering historically, Charlie Smith has always done well in the Manning Cup, I think they should be able to get honors in that zone. Mm -hmm. you know, considering that most of these teams that wouldn't have participated last year, COVID, so on and so forth. You just think that um, a school with the history, you know, with, with good coaching behind them, it might be able to win. Bro, in this zone, only Tivoli played the Manning Cup last year in this group. We talk about Charlie Smith, Bridgeport, yeah. Edith, Haley Selassie, and Vauxhall. None of those teams played the Manning Cup last year, so it's only Tivoli High School. So, yeah, I'm going Charlie Smith just based on what they're known yeah. for. They are, they are one of the football schools. And uh, Tivoli High. Tivoli High. Tivoli we got, had a good but they got, last they got um, they had, disqualified. They had numerous players who were tight out, outside academies. They had young players. So I believe that if they, you know, handle their administration better, you know, they handle their their um, transfer situations better, you know, if they blur the line, you know, a bit better, you mm -hmm. know, a bit, a bit more in, inconspicuous. I think we might hear from them. Yeah, Tivoli. I'm going. I'm going with those two. Zone D, we have stats. Dunun Park Technical. Jonathan Grant High, Norman Manley High, Spanish Town High, and Tarrant High School. Uh, what do you think about that? Another simple group. Another simple group. I want to think about it, bro. I think we'll talk about this some more later in the video. But when I look at look at Zone A, the group of death, mm -hmm. I feel like they could have um, they could have planned this these groups a bit better. They could you know, have, they having could have. Calabar, Casey, and St. George is in one group, and then you have a group with stats, don't know, Jonathan got normal, Mali, Spanish Town, and Tarrant. They could have, they could have spread it out a bit more, but what do you think about this one? I think stats, stats last year had a few young players. You know, stats will also have, have um, a lot to play for this year. Mm -hmm. You know, apparently they didn't even camp um, in Kingston. You know, they went out of town to camp. You know, we've been in contact with stats. So, um, I expect big things from stats this season. I can't wait to go down there and do the school work for future on this. Yeah, um, I like stats. I will safely say stats, stats will make it out of this group. Yeah. And I want to say Jonathan Grant is usually a team that makes it to the second round quite comfortably. So I'm going to go Jonathan Grant. Who else do you think in this group could uh, pose a challenge to the stats of Jonathan Grant? Um, I don't know Norman Manley, Spanish Stone and Tarrant. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure which one of those teams, historically speaking, might have the ability to pose a threat. But, you know, as we do more investigation, more research, we'll come back you know, with more definitive answers. Alright. Zone. zone E, we have Mona High, Camperdown High, Heidel High, um, Kingston High, Papin High, Waterford High, and Wilma's Boys School. Yeah, and you, you speak about the distribution of the zone. Like, Crazy. Yeah, so we have another... You have Mona, zone. Camperdown, um, Wilma's, yeah. we think we'll make a comeback. You have Heidel, who's yeah. usually good. Yeah. So weird. So you talk about the distribution of the, of the teams in the different zones, and it's not this is awful, by Issa, and, I must say. And Papin as well. Papin, Papin should, a yeah. where Papin are going to have a good team. But I would understand if Papin was not um, high seed. Yeah, for sure. So, so who who do you think in this I, group? I saw Mona High School. I think Mona High will. I think Mona High will make a lot of noise this season. Um, you know, I saw snippets of Wilmers. I know that they're talented. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm familiar with the Wilmers goalkeeper. He's very good. Uh, as well as a few other players. So I think Woolmas will put together a solid season. Yeah. Um, I agree with Mona, I agree with Woolmas, but I think Campado will have something to say. And yeah. obviously, you will have some best third place team spots. Yes, and I feel like those best third place team spots will come from 
definitely one will come from zone A, mm -hmm. you know, oh, and then one will come from zone E. It's, yep. it's weird. Um, zone F, Excelsior High, Campion College, Clancarty High, Jose Marti High School, Kingston Technical, and Cumberland High. Um, mm -hmm. Another bland group. <laughs> and I, I think Excelsior will have something to say yeah. in this group. And Kingston Technical have we attempted to develop a traditional football. You know, putting together um, a group of good players, some of them young, some of them not so young, but developing a culture. Mm -hmm. And because of this, I think Kingston College will be able to translate um, their success from last Kingston season. Kingston Technical. Into Kingston Technical, sorry. Yeah, I think they'll be able to translate what they did well last season into this season. Yeah, bro, these are the zones, people. I'm excited for this one. Um, you can hear it in my voice. I really want to, I really want to see the, the season kick off on Saturday. For sure. Sa on Saturday, people, Kingston College versus Calabar at 5 p.m. at yeah, Sabina Park. I'm Kingston. What are you asking me, bro? And then we have, like ask me the next one, ask me the next one. Like a shirt. Hold on, ask me the next one. St. George's College versus Arden at 7 p.m. <laughs> Who you got? What do you mean? Arden High School. What are you talking about? You remember the school song? <laughs> no, I can't sing that. I've never sang that song in my life. Well, Arden subscriber, please put up, please put on um, the first line of the school song. I don't remember my line. Evil, something, something, something. That's it. Da, da, yeah. da, 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 we're embarrassing ourselves. Da, da, People we went to Ireland for two years, da, da, but we refused. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da. Yeah, <laughs> People refused to sing the school song because he's from Melbourne. I am from KC, and we love our our our, our, Jesus, our previous um, high school. So, see with us, yeah, bro. Those are, those are the two games. Those are the two games on Saturday. Manning Cup season opener. I think yeah. it, those will be those will be two good games. Yeah, feel like them set up Arden though. Mm -hmm. Feel like them set up Arden for real. Why them put Why them put a school and the lights in front yeah. of George, bro? I don't think they should have done that. Some bad man business. That I'm gonna like that. Arden, please put a run together in the Manning Cup and make it best third place, now. Come to so Arden, which man. Which shirt are you wearing Wait in that minute. game? I'm going to wear my decided sports TV ah, shirt. Ah, that. What are you talking about? Professionalism at the best. What are you talking about, guy? <laughs> Chill out, man. <laughs> yeah, that is it. So yeah, you know, um, Manning Cup is back, bro. Excited, can't wait for touching on the different venues, you know, and continue doing our features because that's very enjoyable, people. Very informative content we're bringing to you guys, you know, we we don't really lapse. Mm -hmm. So we continue to do the work, and as the Manning Cup heats up, you know, as we get uh, more versed with more of the teams, we'll be able to make better assertions, yeah, and better predictions. We're not we're not going to make any winning predictions at the moment. We're not going to make any flat predictions or violation predictions. Mm. Uh, maybe after a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, maybe, maybe after a week in the Manning yeah. Cup, I would say, you know, two or three games playing. Sure. Then we can say, all right, this, this team looks really good. This team looks like they can take the Manning Cup all the way. But people, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is our first Manning Cup video mm -hmm. of the year. The 2022-23 yeah. season. It's going to be a good one. Um, back to the old format. Yeah. Uh, home and away. You know, so the, the school boy and girl um, sub subscribers, that we have, you guys are going to enjoy the Manning Cup in your home ground, yeah. in the, at your schools, bro. I really miss that. And um, what else is happening this year? Some sponsors came on board. A lot of money being pumped into the Manning Cup and schoolboy football overall this year. So, mostly excited. People, don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. How oh, you want them share, though? To at least 10 people will get us 6 subscribers. Because if each one of you guys can get us 6 subscribers, that would get us a lot of subscribers by the end of the day. Rush, you see on me? You see on me? Yeah, I try, bro. I and we're getting trying. a push. We're getting a push. I must acknowledge it, bro. And thanks to the people that are sharing the video. Really enjoy it. But I, be, I really like that. But people, just share the video. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it's not that hard. But people, for now, this was this or that sports TV. This is our Manning Cup video. First one of the season. We're out.